In this video, we provide the solution to question number 18 for the practice final exam for math 1210, in which case we have a box with a square base and no top that needs to be constructed from 75 square feet of material. We want to find the largest possible volume of the box. Largest possible volume, this is an optimization type problem. So our optimizing function should be volume. Well, volume of a box, let's draw a box real quick for us. Volume of a box, right, is going to be length times width times height. Length times width times height, which we could call this length, this width, width, and this dimension right here, height. Okay, so we want to find the largest possible volume of this box. Well, how does the constraint come into play here? The constraint has to do with this 75 uh, square feet of material. Now, some other things to mention is that, well, one, it says it has no top. So uh, it turns out this box only has five sides. We can ignore the price of the top. Also, it says it has a square base. So that means the base of this thing right here is a square. So we actually get that length and width are the same thing. So we can revise our volume formula and get that W squared H is the volume. So can we somehow relate height in terms of the width? Well, this is where the material uh, for the sides is going to come to play here. We can make a constraint using the surface area of this box. So the surface area is going to be computed as, well, the side of all the, it's going to be the area of all the side rectangles put together. So you have the base, which is a square, so that's going to be a W squared. Uh, but then each of the other four sides, right, like this one right here, it's a rectangle, which is going to be W times H. And there's going to be four of those things all around the whole thing. So we get four times WH. That's going to be the surface area. But the surface area, we know what it is by the constraint the surface area we see is supposed to be 75, like so. So we can use this to solve for h, subtract w squared from both sides. We get 4wh is equal to 75 minus w squared. Divide both sides by 4w, we get h equals 75 minus w squared over 4w. And we're going to make this substitution in for h, like so. So that volume becomes w squared times this 75 minus w squared over four times w. You'll notice that one of the w's cancels out right here, like so, um, in which case then our volume becomes w times, well, w over four times 75 minus w squared. So now we have to make a choice. When it comes to the derivative, uh, we could multiply this thing out to calculate the derivative, which would make it a little bit easier, or could we could take the derivative right now uh, using the product rule. I'm gonna distribute the w through you can leave the constant multiple out. That doesn't have much of a consequence on the derivative. So we get 1 fourth 75 w minus w cubed. So when we calculate the derivative here, v prime, uh, we're going to get 1 fourth times 75 minus 3 w squared. We need to find the critical number, so we're going to set this thing equal to 0. The 1 fourth can be ignored because we can just divide both sides by 1 fourth. Dividing 0 by any non-zero number just gives you 0. No big deal there. So we have 75 minus 3w squared. Add 3w squared to both sides, you get 75 equals 3w squared, like so. Divide both sides by 3, you're going to get w squared equals 25. And then take the square root, you get w equals 5. So this gives us a critical number, but we have to consider all, uh, not just the critical numbers, but the boundary points as well. Um, so what could the boundaries be, right, for w? Well. To one extreme, you could set w equal to zero, but that's going to be a no-go here because if, you're, if your width was zero, that would give you a volume, I should mention, of course, of zero. There's also the concern, of course, that the, the surface area wouldn't be 75 square feet at that moment, but the point is that's going to minimize things. If we go on the other extreme, like how big can... How big can w actually come turn out to be that kind of follows from this formula right here that if you allow w to get all the way up to like the um, square root of three times five five times the square root of three uh, that is the square root of 75 then that would set the height equal to zero which also would make uh, the volume zero which again that's an impossibility because that type of thing uh, wouldn't have any material made out of it. But we should make sure that it's not a boundary point that's included, because the boundary could, in fact, be the solution to the problem. We can't just simply ignore it. So it seems like the candidate for optimization is going to happen here at 5. 5, of course, is the width. So if we put it into our function, we're going to end up with 
one fifth, excuse me, one fourth uh, times five times 75 minus 20, uh, 25, which is five squared. So we wanna simplify this thing, of course. So we get one fifth times five. Uh, 75 take away 25 is going to be 50, like so. And so that's gonna give you 250 over four. Four does go into that thing evenly. And so we end up with, I take that back, two goes into 250 uh, evenly. So you'd end up with 125, excuse me, 125 over two, if you want the exact answer, or uh, we could write that as 62.5. This would be volume. So it's the units here would be cubic feet. And so the maximum volume for this box, given the constraint on the surface area is going to be 62 and a half cubic feet.